Give me a minute and let's talk about Republican obstructionist because that's what it is. Make no mistake. Right now, we are at a crisis point in history. We have Ukrainian soldiers on the front line running out of ammunition and being forced to surrender and then being summarily executed, which is a war crime. That's what's happening here today. And what are we doing back in Washington? The president, I thought very cleverly, since we're going into an election year, everybody's going to be busy. And the constant drip, drip, drip of support is not getting us a Ukrainian victory. It's getting us a deadlock on the battlefield. The president said, okay, bundle up the Israeli aid, the Ukraine aid, the Taiwan aid, the border security package. Let's get it all done. And then we can go into the election year knowing that we have faced our responsibilities in the world to our critical allies, to the stability of the world, we have made our contribution and we stand ready to support the cause of freedom and democracy in the world. Not to mention the security of the economy, which is at stake here. For everybody who thinks this doesn't affect them, bullshit, it doesn't affect you. You don't understand how this war is affecting the price of bread. And while 36 cents a loaf in Bloomington, Illinois, doesn't ruffle any feathers, 36 cents a loaf in Kathmandu or Kinshasa means starvation. That's what it means. That's the world we're descending into because the Republicans don't have the will to stand up to the Russian menace. Just the opposite. They are quite ready to do everything they can to stop the cause of freedom and justice in the world. Right now, Senate Republicans are holding hostage the combined package because they're insisting that what we do is build detention camps on military bases, and that's where we stick migrant families looking for asylum in the land of the free. Are you out of your ever-loving fascist fucking minds? That's America? These people forget. They forget that three, four, five generations ago, their families came poor and begging to the United States for a chance at freedom, and they got it, and they have earned the rewards of the greatest engine for generating wealth in the history of the human race, and now they want to keep it all to themselves? That is not how that engine functions. We need the energy, the innovation of the immigrant population. That's how America functions, for Christ's sake. And this is what you're doing. You want detention camps in military bases for children. I don't, I, I, I don't even have the words to describe the horror of that. And then you got Mike Johnson, Trump's lapdog who is just doing everything he can to shut the government down and make sure that we don't meet our obligations in the world. This nonsense about we don't give aid to Israel unless we cut that much money from the IRS budget? Are you insane? Not only does that not save us money, what it really does is it makes sure that Mike Johnson's wealthy donors don't have to pay their fair share of taxes. And according to the Congressional Budget Office, it will cost us $10 billion more than just giving Israel the money. Insanity. Insanity. Look, uh, we have crafted, right, we have a small team here on this channel 
Uh, Vanetta handles the uh, V. Larratt handles the email message templates to Congress, the Senate, and the White House. If you are an American who stands for freedom and democracy in the world, who stands with our allies, Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine, then for the love of God, now is the time to make your voice heard. Please reach out to Vanetta V. Larratt. Please contact or me, DM me directly. I will get back to you with the email message templates for Congress, the Senate, and uh, the President's office. Please. If you're an American, do that much. And on behalf of the United States, to our allies and the rest of the civilized world, I am so sorry that we are so weak right now. If Ronald Reagan were alive today, he'd punch every one of these bastards in the face. <laughs>